Hello and welcome to Polk County, the heart of Central Florida. I'm Murtis Young, Historic Preservation Manager. Join me as we travel on the Heritage Trail to discover the rich and diverse historic sites in Polk County. The diverse history of the area is evident across Polk County, from city centers and urban neighborhoods to rural farms and cultural landscapes along our roads, railways, and rivers. History allows us to explore sense of place, the unique character of the county, and learn about the numerous people and events that shape the region. In celebration of this rich cultural heritage, the Polk County Heritage Trail was developed to highlight more than 150 years of county history. From historic homes and museums to Civil War sites, the trail provides an opportunity for communities to share their local history in the authentic locations where it happened. Join us in exploring the Polk County Heritage Trail. Today's stop on the Heritage Trail brings us to the historic Socrum Cemetery, located on the grounds of the Bethel Baptist Church in the Socrum community. This cemetery is one of the oldest in Polk County. The headstones lining the grounds date back 150 years and tell of early pioneer families who were instrumental in the formation of the community and development of Polk County. Following the end of the Second Seminole War in the early 1840s, settlers began moving into the Socrum area in search of lands suitable for agriculture and cattle grazing. Enacted in 1842, the Armed Occupation Act played a significant role in the development of frontier lands in present-day Polk County. The act gave white settlers over the age of 18 the opportunity to acquire rights to 160 acres of land. Although tensions remained high between settlers and neighboring Native American tribes, early pioneers established homesteads in the area beginning in the mid-1840s. Among the first to arrive in the Socrum area was the Hancock family. Brothers Shadrach and William Henry Hancock and their families followed the military road from Columbia County, Florida to the area in 1844 and established a farm. Two years later, in 1846, Henry Fryer and his wife, Elizabeth Rushing Fryer, joined the Hancock family and chose a spot near Indian Pond, which would later be used as a baptism site for early members of Bethel Baptist Church. Richard Vickers married Elizabeth's sister, Sarah Ann Rushing, and also settled in the area. The couple welcomed their first child, Mary Ann Vickers, in 1848, and she was among the first white children born in Polk County. William T. Rushing, and Belinda Futch Rushing followed their daughters to Socrum in 1850 and settled lands on the current site of the Bethel Baptist Church. One of the earliest documented religious gatherings in the area was held at William Rushing's homestead in August 1851, helping to lay the foundation for the establishment of Bethel Baptist Church and Socrum Cemetery. Sadly, the oldest marked grave in Socrum Cemetery belongs to William's 18-year-old son, J.T. Rushing, who was buried in 1856. His cause of death is unknown. Names from other prominent pioneer families instrumental in the development of the area are also scattered among the headstones, including members of the Whitten, Lanier, Bryant, Mizell, and Shiraus families. Socrum Cemetery has documented the community's rich heritage for more than 150 years. These early pioneer families weathered the hardships of frontier life and built a community steeped in history. Their proud legacy continues today with the descendants who still call the area home. The historic Socrum Cemetery is only one of many unique sites you'll discover on the Polk County Heritage Trail. We invite you to hit the road and see all the amazing historical sites that you can find in Polk County.